Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Ah, well, we might have... We... We might have solved the issue with Disco Elysium, maybe, but doing another one of these just to buy us some time on that. So, let's go adventure. Yeah, exactly. Let's go adventure. Let's see. I wish there was a way to skip through these. I wish they didn't automatically go through them, and instead you had to, you instead you could just press a button to pass through, because that's, you know, standard policy in the industry, but they have to be a... whatever. Okay, which wagon this time? Let's go with the Ancient, why not? From a different time. I don't even know how this one attacks. Uh, it seems to be firing eggs. Oh! Eggs which then proceed to summon a... What is that, a pterodactyl? Yeah, people don't often know about that, but this sort of... The Triceratops, it's the... It's life cycle. The Triceratops and the pterodactyl are actually just the same creature at different points during its lifespan. The more you know. Yeah, this is a, this is a classic example of the Triceratops' life cycle. It shoots its young at enemies, which then hatch to produce a pterodactyl, which then flies off into the nowhere, which which then eventually goes into a cocoon and comes out. Well, not actually a Triceratops. It's initially just a pteratops, then a biteratops, then a triceratops. You know. Uh, some have said that there are quad teratops, but I think they're a myth. That's what fresh hell awaits us in here. Spiders. Spiders! A giant army of spiders! Naturally. <sighs> well, that wasn't actually a giant army, that was a pretty tiny army, but never mind. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's jump it. Yeah, because obviously the Triceratops is going to be able to leap it. It doesn't it doesn't have the air time of the of when it was earlier in its life cycle as the pterodactyl, of course, but it can still jump. Ah. Uh, ah, the majestic triceratops. The pilgrims used to ride these suckers for miles. A gust of air pulled them up and into low Earth orbit. God damn it! I hate it when that happens. Pass through a meteor shower, of course. Now, you may recognize this gameplay from a certain classic game, and that's because obviously that game was based off of testimonies from the Oregon Trail. Hmm. Yeah, and that's why we don't have any satellites that are as old as the Oregon Trail, because, well, they got blown up by wagons and such being launched into low Earth orbit, of course.
By chance, they landed in the same river they had jumped over days before. Oh, lovely. Surprise rocks? No, surprise rocks, okay. Sometimes the rocks like to ambush you, you know? Because rocks are actually highly intelligent. You ever heard someone say dumb as rocks? That's like calling a... That's basically the same thing as calling a uh, really big guy tiny. You know, it's sarcasm. Hmm. Pterodactyls are, of course, not nearly as good predators as hawks, but they're all right. Some angry buffalo tries to lag in. It was ever thus. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, sweet, sweet, she recovered. Ah. Ooh, fur trader. Don't really have many furs. Yeah. Oh, 49 animal hides. Sweet. Heavier dinosaur eggs. Huh. That's interesting. Heavier dinosaur eggs. I assume this is referring to some sort of supplement. Vitamins or some such. That make the... Eggs. Or some sort of uh, growth serum or some such. To make it, to make the dinosaur produce heavier eggs. Also, you may have noticed that we called in an airstrike earlier, and there were actually quite a lot of planes out there that could provide support for the organ trail riders. But they didn't actually do that much, aside from rare occasions like that. And that's because they're assholes. They're assholes who really don't like the organ trail riders. Because see, wagons are, of course, a far superior vehicle to airplanes and well airplane pilots were kind of jealous they were sent there specifically to aid the organ trail riders in their voyage but they intentionally didn't and a lot of people died as a result that's why airplanes only really kicked up in popularity relatively recently anyway Let's buy it. We have just enough, more or less. Well, more, I suppose. They hear distant gunshots. Ooh. Someone might need their help. Alternatively, they could ignore the gunshots and continue on. Well, of course we've got to investigate. That's the Wagoneer's Code. We could get court-martialed if we didn't. Okay, I left the wagon to investigate. It was a bank being robbed by bandits. Well, eat egg. Eat egg, that sounds silly. Um, okay, you had to carefully shoot the armed bandits fleeing the bank without hitting any unarmed innocent bystanders. Oh no. Pterodactyls are not particularly... Um, nope, shit. See what I mean? See, they're vicious bastards. Kay was arrested for shooting innocent bystanders and taken to jail. They left without him. God fucking damn it. Well, I went about as poorly as I could have. A wagon axle broke. God damn it. <laughs> okay, please said the brown haired one to go to the. to get to the, go to the trading post. Okay, thank goodness. Coyotes hounded her. As they do. Probably after the eggs, of course. Not for food, of not for food, but uh, mind you. It's because pterodactyls are notorious predators of coyotes. Maria stumbled upon a camp of sleeping travelers. Okay. I can notice the travelers had left supplies sitting out like idiots in the camp. She was tempted to steal the supplies. 
No. Do you want ghosts? That's how you get ghosts. Also, I don't even know if they'd carry over to the other person, so... They might have no effect whatsoever. Maria left the travelers sleeping peacefully. She's sleeping peacefully while she leaves them? Finally, yeah, trading post. Got all of our money. Finally, Maria, we should back again. Yep. Alright. Also, you may notice that the wagon, quotation marks, doesn't actually have wheels. That's actually not true, though. The Triceratops is actually a clockwork-based creature. See, all the inner workings are actually a bunch of gears and stuff like that. And gears are, of course, a type of wheel. So, yeah. The Pterodactyl, however, is not a clockwork organism, it polymorphs into one when it goes into its cocoon. It has to eat a whole bunch of weird stuff in order to prepare for the cocoon. That's why you'll notice it not actually eating any of the animals that we attack- that we throw the eggs at. It's not actually a carnivore. It's a- well, I don't know the term for it. Let's swim for it. Okay, we actually got to swim for it at this time rather than forgetting what we were doing, and going the other way. Got tired of throwing all those dinosaur eggs. What? Ah, crap. Lowered attack speed, and- Oh, no! Going in weird directions. Well, fortunately, we are in a target-rich environment. Oh, no. Oh no, that's a problem. Most weapons are... <laughs> and poisonous jellyfish. Most weapons are a downgrade over the over throwing your eggs at people. You should try it sometime. Well, if you produce eggs. You shouldn't throw other people's eggs at people. That would be grotesque. Not to mention perverse. Yoxin got freaked out and swam too fast. It's not that fast. Ow. Fuck. Whew. They landed on a small island to catch their breath. Literally. Because they were underwater the whole time. Ooh, supplies. <laughs> supplies! Shotgun. Kind of real now realize why the supplies were left there. The supplies were guarded by a flock of angry pelicans. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. It's a classic thing. Pelicans are annoying, yeah. No shit. Hannah ran back to the wagon, they quickly left the island and swam to the shore of the river. Pelicans are notorious for leaving supplies as bait so they can tear you to pieces. Nasty creatures. They got better at throwing the eggs. Sweet. Although, currently using a shotgun. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Hmm. Yeah. As any hunter will tell you- Oh, Pekka was the. As any hunter will tell you, shotguns are excellent for hunting. So they can kill so many creatures at one- uh, at the same time, you know? Pterodactyl eggs are far better at it, of course. Uh, 
Let's see. Supplies. Ah, here we go. Could use some health right now, right quick. Damn it. Let's get a flamethrower, why not? 100 fuel flamethrower. Pretty good. Better than a 10 fuel bow. Mountain Pass was cold, so at night they drink to stay warm. Oh. Inebriated, Hannah left the wagon to relieve herself. Ah, a dangerous pastime. Especially when you have a flamethrower. Unfortunately, her drunken stumbling attracted the attention of some bears. Shit. Bears are notorious predators of drunk people. Fortunately, I have a flamethrower. Hannah managed to stumble into camp. Oh no. It was the wrong camp. It was a camp filled with bandits. Ah, flamethrower is rubbish at dealing with bandits. Because of the, uh... Pesky Geneva Convention. Hannah ran away drunkenly with, a, with bandits chasing her. She made it back to the wagon, and they left in a hurry. However, they were all drunk. Oh, this just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Idiots. You should have known never to get drunk on the Oregon Trail. That's like one of the classic causes of death. Ah, uh, flamethrower is terrible for this. Unless, of course, I do this. Actually, it's great if you start out right in front of them. Go back! Cool. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, come on! Jesus! Fighting the fucking controls here! Maybe I should just wait for another health thing. Ah. After a long night of vomiting, they felt awful and accidentally drove off a cliff. Man. See, this is exactly what happens when you get drunk. Ever. A herd of buffalo fell off the cliff behind them. See? This is exactly what happens when you ever get drunk. You... Let this be a lesson to you, dear viewers. Never get drunk ever under any circumstances. And drink lots of water. Luckily the wagon rounded in a river. Landed in a river. Yeah, here we go. Wagon now a raft. Was carried down by river carried down river by the currents. Yep. They had to avoid boulders and the wagon navigated the rapids. Pretty usual stuff. Flamethrowers are actually Yeah, as you can see, flamethrowers are great weapons against boulders. That's because boulders are alive. I should probably not be destroying the ecosystem so much though. For some reason there were there was oh there were a bunch of alligators in the river. That's pretty normal. Ah fuck. Fuck. It'd be weirder if there were a river without alligators. They noticed something on the horizon. It was abandoned on a raft. It seems the bandits had followed them and set up an ambush. Okay, I really need to get rid of this flame though now. Becoming a liability. Pterodactyls are just better in most circumstances. See? So much better. Pterodactyls are just nat are nature's second greatest killing machine. Right after the hawk. I should show you the hawk again sometime. You probably haven't seen it because it was in my previous terrible videos. The videos themselves were great, but uh, were actually pretty good, but they were very low quality. Uh, audio and all that. Oh, riverboat. Damn it! Ah! Didn't even have time to fucking move. Fuck. No! Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. 
Well, that sucked. Their journey ended there. The bandits took their ammunition and food and left the remains of the wagon floating down river. We didn't have any ammunition. We just had <laughs> eggs. Oh well. <sighs> such is life on the Oregon Trail. Or rather, such is death. And the moral of the story is never ever get drunk under any circumstances. Man. Though, really, just using any wagon except the wild just always reminds me of how much better the wild is. So, the hawk really is nature's perfect killing machine. If I play this again, I'll definitely be playing the wild next time. But, until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.